Hello. Hi, everyone out there. Welcome back. This is Robin, the host of Relationship Cake and Ice Cream. And I got some new ideas for the new year. I'll be sharing them soon. But today's episode is Intimacy, the Mind, Body, and Spirit Connection. Now, when you're in a relationship, intimacy is expected. So, let me just start off by saying that intimacy does not require sex. Let me say that again. Intimacy does not require sex. People have sex all the time without intimacy. We often put the two words together because when you're in an intimate relationship, you usually are in a relationship in which it becomes a sexual relationship also. Okay. But to have sex does not require intimacy. And intimacy does not require sex. So let's be clear about that. But in order to achieve intimacy, the two partners in the relationship must have a mind, body, and spirit connection. There's no other way to have intimacy without having a meeting of the minds, which will lead to a sharing of the body, which also involves a spiritual or soul connection. That's how you will achieve what's called intimacy. A lot of people have relationships, but they never achieve that intimate level. There's a disconnect on some level, and intimacy is not achieved. Those three things are required. A mind connection, a body connection. Okay, that involves flow, rhythm, being in tune to each other. And a spiritual connection. Spiritual connection goes beyond the physical. So that is is required to have intimacy. A mind, body, and spirit connection. When the mind is connected with another person's mind, they're usually in agreement about things doesn't have to be that you're in agreement about everything, but normally when people have a mind connection, they're in agreement about a lot of things that may or may not be important to them, but they usually find that they have an agreement. Sometimes they can finish each other's thoughts. They're willing to compromise. Their belief systems may be in agreement when they have a mind connection. Finish each other's sentences. Okay. That's a mind connection. They have trust. They depend on each other. They know how each other feels. So that's that's the... um, That's the mind connection. Intimacy is the ultimate relationship goal. Intimacy. That's what you're striving for when you're in a relationship. Because once you reach the point of intimacy, all the other little things that you think are important will no longer seem as important. So intimacy is the ultimate relationship goal. Intimacy transcends ego. It transcends ego. No longer is it about you, just about you, what you want, what you need. When you're intimate with someone, you almost become as if the two of you are one. It transcends ego. Okay? So, achieve intimacy. When you're working to achieve intimacy, it's important that you pay attention Okay, that you're communicating with each other, that you're hearing each other. 
even if their thoughts is not necessarily your thoughts. Because remember, I said that you have some things that you might be in agreement or not, but the mind can come together about it. So you must have some type of communication. To achieve intimacy, you must be present in the moment of every day of that relationship. You must be able to feel what your partner is feeling. Okay, that's what intimacy is, being able to have that uh, connection, that emotional connection. That happens usually when you get to a spiritual level, okay, that you can feel for the other person. And it's important that you're not judging them. You don't want to be judging your partner in any manner about what they think or what they feel, okay? That's not intimacy that goes back to ego because you're going to interject what you think what you feel about it but uh you don't want to do that you do not want to judge once you achieve intimacy it will not be so relevant to you to inject what you think and what you feel you'll be able to fully feel what the other person is experiencing and conveying to you that's intimacy. In intimacy, you must have a mo- a body connection, okay? When I talk about a body connection, I'm talking about sexuality. It doesn't always have to be sex, okay? When you have a body connection, you can be content just being laying with someone, having them in your arms, being able to hug them, okay, to touch them. That's a a body connection. It doesn't always have to uh, involve sex. It could be natural, just being sitting next to them, okay? Knowing that they're there with you. That's That's a body connection. When it's sexual and sensual, it flows easily. It's natural. You you don't feel any type of um, hang-ups about it. It flows very natural when you have that body connection. It feels like this is what was meant to be for both of you. You don't feel any shame about it afterwards. That's for men and women. When you have that body connection, it flows very easily. It's very natural. It's very sensual. And you two will be able to enjoy each other. You will feel as if you are one. I already said that, that when you have that body connection, you will feel as if the two of you are one. And the experience will be something of a ecstasy. You will feel excited. You will feel as if you have transcended your own body. This is what the body connection is. When the two of you have that body connection. Now, let's talk about um, spiritual. The spirit connection. When you get to that spirit connection, you have peace in the relationship. You have peace with your partner, with your significant other. You're at peace because you know that both of you are on the same level, working towards the same things. Each of you have your own individual things that you do, but together they get done. And you are at peace with it. Okay, spiritual connection creates a commitment to the relationship. Now you have a commitment to the relationship itself. You're so spiritually connected that you don't want to break that up. That you're invested in that relationship. Usually when you get to a spiritual connection, and that's where the intimacy comes in. The pure love comes in. Where you love that person And you wouldn't want to do anything to hurt that relationship. That's the spiritual connection. You have a dual purpose as well as your individual purpose. But when you have that spiritual connection, the purpose of the relationship of you two as a couple becomes a dual purpose. 
you each have each other's back. You can stand in the gap for each other. You can speak for each other because you're so spiritually connected. You understand what the other desires are not. The wants and needs of the other person. So that's the spiritual connection. Also, when you have a spiritual connection, you're protective. You're protective of your relationship, protective of the peace that you have achieved when you have that spirit connection. Now, when there is no intimacy, then there's no mind, body, and spirit connection. The relationship will feel forced. You wishing for something to happen that won't. Because if there's no connection, you're not going to be able to achieve that uh, intimacy. Then you're in chaos. You're pulling, you're tugging, you're struggling. You're trying to make something work that's not going to work because you haven't done the work required to take the relationship from one level to another. Whether it's trust issues that crop up. You know, financial issues that uh, pop up, whatever it is, you haven't done the work required to take the relationship towards an intimate level. Okay, it's like putting a plug in the socket and you want the light. You know when we plug up the light, the light is going to come on. But when the light bulb has fizzled out, it's over. It's done. You can plug it up all you want. There's no brightness, no light, no anything, okay? Whatever caused that fizzle, that fizzle out is something that only you can know in the relationship. This is what happens when you're forcing something that just is not there. Or you made a wrong turn somewhere uh, on your way to achieving that and so therefore you either have to go back to the beginning which a lot of times you can't do because people don't forget past pain easily or you have to walk away so intimacy is the ultimate goal in the mind body and spirit connection that people were trying to achieve in a relationship. And intimacy transcends ego. Intimacy is about two people achieving the ultimate goal of connecting the mind, body, and spirit. That's what it is. I want to thank you for listening to relationship cake and ice cream i'll have more i will be coming soon with a a podcast for teenage young women hoping to help them achieve getting to know themselves and creating goals for their lives so thank you so much for listening this is robin your host of relationship cake and ice cream